doing constantly more and non-stop can be less. What I mean? Today I experience again, I get this aha moment when my heart rate suddenly went from normal to 150. Today Saturday, I should be relaxed, but I have so much things in my mind, so much things to do. And I want you are next generation. I want to give you advices. What I wish you somebody give it to me when I was 20. So what I mean by doing more can be less and sometimes doing less can be more. Let me tell you a story. There was a competition in the village. The two teams came over to compete who will prepare more firewood. And they have two wooden buildings. They, they cannot see each other how much each of them have accomplished, but they have a lot of wood, what they need to cut it into the pieces and prepare for fire. And then there was 10 hours given to them. In 10 hours time, who will prepare more? Let's call these teams, team A and team Z. After one hour hammering, they both, they can hear A, can hear Z. Then they are also going like a, like a chainsaw, not like a hand, like they are really hammering. So that means the results will be there and there. And after one hour, the Z team here, A, is quiet. Then they, then they tell, give the sign to each other, let's do it faster. Now we are definitely leading because they are relaxing. And this going on and on, up to the late evening, one hour work, 20 minutes quiet in the A team. In the evening time, when the judges come, they see the A team who relapse after every one hour. They done almost twice more. They cut it almost twice more. Then the Z team says, wait, wait, wait. There should be some mistake because I hear they was not working like they worked one hour and then 20. we work straight all the 10 hours. We, we are cutting the wood all the 10 hours. How come? On what? Captain of A team say, actually, those 20 minutes we are not relaxing. We are sharpening the soul. And after 20 minutes sharpening the soul, our work is even more productive than we do. So, what is not that sharp? Where I'm going with this, what we learn from this in life, whatever we do, if we think we do, let's say this is exercise, if we just exercise, 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 results will start. The body will put you in a hospital. The body will stop you. Then we should be able to give ourselves like today is Saturday, I advise everybody of this thing and one day, Sunday, just go for a walk, go in the streets where you never be. So, in like one day a week, really take a break. Try, actually I'm talking more to myself because I'm not good at relaxing. Sometimes I can, I can go all the way and end up in a, in a hospital with a lot of wires and screen and my heart is going too far. But I wish if next generation can learn that from early age. Work 
and relax. If you hold the hand all the time like this, is good or not? No. And what about if you all the time keep open? Is good or not? So that means it should be like this, like this, this, like this, with everything in life. It should be on and off. With work, work and relax must follow each other. Those are my thoughts for today. Take vacation. Not too long. Why not too long? Because when it is too long, when it is like more than two weeks, you will lose momentum. This is another topic. If you will ask me, I will tell you what happens when you when you are too long in vacation, and when you come after vacation, you cannot get momentum. You cannot get into that drive. Like when you stop gymming for some time, and then you not start you need to start gym. It's like. But when you start, you go again. But this will be a different topic. But today, let's remember one thing. We work and we give ourselves 